playing the role of um, Ugly, and basically the Ugly Duckling, which is a story by Hans Christian Andersen. And um, it's kind of a name that everyone gives him in the show, rather than him actually being named that. So, you know, they think he's ugly and he's considered different than everybody else. You know, they think he might be a turkey. They don't really know what he is, but they don't really think he's a duck. You know, now his relationship with the cat, you know, his mother tells him to beware of the cat, but he doesn't believe her. And like I said before, I think there's lessons that you can learn from people. And I think there's lessons in life that you have to go and you have to learn yourself. And the lesson that Ugly learns himself in life is not to trust certain people that you think that you should trust. This music brings the heart to the show, I think. You know, I think that the, the lines make everything funny, but I think the songs actually add a lot of heart to the show, and there's a lot of different layers to this show in particular. And my songs in particular, I think, you know, it, there's just a lot of inner feelings that I think that Ugly doesn't show in the speech that I think that you get in his songs and his songs with other characters as well. Different is no threat And though they are my brothers They forget I didn't choose to look this way I didn't want to be unique I don't like these grubby feathers And I hate my stubby beak I play Ida, the mother of the ugly duckling And she is a fiercely protective but very loving and warm mother. She teaches uh, her children lessons about overcoming adversity um, and learning what it means to be different, but that different doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. Different just means that you're different and that that's, she teaches them that that's okay. The music is expertly crafted. It is, um, it has it, it brings so many different levels and diff, uh, characterizations to the show. When it's supposed to be cartoony, it sounds cartoony. When it's supposed to be big and lush and almost operatic sounding, it sounds like that. It brings all of those emotions to life. Um, it gives us as actors and singers everything that we need to bring uh, to life our characters and what we need to be doing through the music. Joy of motherhood, those little perks that make it all seem worthwhile. I'll do what any other mother would to get my ducks decked out and living in style. Last year I was playing um, a magical leprechaun, and this year I'm playing a hungry cat. The fun of this is that he's a villain that everyone loves to hate. You know, you hate him because he's out to do evil, but he keeps failing and falling down on himself and tripping his own wire and getting hit in the head with, you know, an anvil, with a ball. Uh, it's, it's hilarious, and it's the best kind of sort of physical comedy. Well, actually, I love the whole score. I think it's, it's, quite, it's quite brilliant. It's very, it's very sophisticated. It's this lovely, elegant music that expresses so many, um, so many different worlds and... The, the emotions, it's, it's, it's beautiful. But uh, I do love the big uh, cat number, which is play with your food. You can play with your food before you eat it. You can chivy your chow before you chew. You can play with your food, you can't beat it. So ducky, let me play with you. This time around, I'm playing Drake. He is a good old boy duck on the pond. He is married to Ida, and that makes him the ugly duckling's father. And he spends most of the play just kind of out of sorts because of all of that, and he learns a whole lot of valuable lessons along the way. Uh, I heard several people talking about the music, and I think one of the things that the music does for the children is that the music always lets them know that it's not so scary that you have to leave or be really frightened it kind of explains things in a way that the kids can kind of keep along with it it's like it settles them down for adults all kinds of stuff the music is beautiful first off the story's clever it's got lots of double entendres and little bits and pieces that the adults will pick up and the kids will find fun but mostly the adults will understand a little better and it has to, a lot to do with just all around understanding and acceptance and that sort of thing and Everybody likes that. Uh, this one is the bullfrog, 
and he shows up towards the end of the show, and he's, he's someone who comes into Ugly's life towards the end of his experience when he's out on his own, and he's probably at the lowest point you see him in the show, and he meets someone who um, is extremely different and is fine with it, and so then there's this amazing number called Warts and All, and he teaches him, you know, that um, you can be different, and you can just sort of own the thing about you that's different and embrace it, and essentially, whatever makes you different might be the thing that makes someone love you all the more. And it's this huge number with little tiny children playing froglets that's really fun, and I get to do it. And though it may take some time to find them, when you do, you'll have a ball. For out there somewhere, someone's gonna love you. What? And all. Do you really believe that? This yes, character, do. yeah, is Maureen. She's a Moorhen. Um, and so I was, even though I played it 11 years ago, I was re looking at it again um, to prepare again. And she's. She looks, she has chicken feet, but she swims like a duck. So she's some kind of waterfowl. Uh, and she is Ida's best friend, I would say. Um, I think of her as kind of the Betty Rubble, the, the neighbor, the sidekick best friend. And so this was so much fun to come in and, and have to portray these two very different characters physically. And, you know, I consider myself an actor, singer. And so to be able to finally do something that I felt I, I was good at was, was very exciting. And this is now my 11th season um, here at Music Theater where I've done something every year. And I just feel, I feel really fortunate to be in this city and to have the opportunities that I have here. When you hear that dibble dabble, you're proud to say, Hey, that's my rabble! Then watch their maiden voyage out from the bank. Like champagne corks, you'll see them bobbing, accompanied by mother sobbing, relieved. Thanks be to nature, nobody sang. Someone's gonna love you.